tell me about your investment um, in the U.S. Yeah, so in the United States, we typically invest in more, I would say, innovative or revolutionary technologies. Um, we feel the Silicon Valley, the, the Boston hub, the San Diego hub has a tremendous uh, ecosystem geared towards innovation. Uh, so a couple examples uh, that we made investments in in this regard is a company called GeneWeave uh, Diagnostics uh, that was based in Los Gatos. They had a very novel diagnostic test uh, for hospital-acquired infections. Uh, Roche realized the innovation and acquired it for over 425 million U.S. dollars. Um, another example is uh, in the immune oncology space, a company in California called Armo Biosciences uh, was developing a uh, clinical stage oncology asset uh, that showed very promising data in over 120 plus patients. This eventually was acquired by uh, Eli Lilly for $2 billion. What is the climate of biotech in China right now? I would say the, uh, the environment in China, I would express, is uh, tempered uh, optimism. Um, I think there is definitely a tremendous opportunity in the long run. For example, in China, as a percentage of overall GDP is about 6%, compared to the U.S., which is in the 16% to 17%. So you can see definitely there's an opportunity for growth. Um, I would say in the near term, you have to be tempered because right now in the China healthcare environment, there's an excess of capital, a uh, very high valuation. So the high quality companies will do very well, but on average, I would say this year may be a uh, flat to down market. How would you compare the U.S. biotech market to the Chinese biotech market? I would say there's actually a lot of parallel synergies between the U.S. and China biotech markets. Um, definitely last year in the U.S., the IPO market was tremendous in the United States. I think there are over 40 plus biotech IPOs. Um, Hong Kong is trying to become the NASDAQ of China. They recently opened up a pre-revenue biotech board in the Hong Kong Stock Exchange, and the first five companies went out in the third and fourth quarter of last year, uh, which a couple did extremely well. So you're going to start to see a lot of parallel and, and, and synergies between the two markets. Yeah.